Probably the biggest concern with social networking sites and educational settings is that content intended for one group will end up being inadvertently shared with others. Google Plus offers precise control over who sees what. Of course, this assumes the individual sharing content understands how to use the system and then uses it with care. This tutorial will explain how to target who can view the content you create. Here you see the Google Stream View with the area in which you enter content identified with the red box. Once you click within this box to add text, a link, or a photo, the designated audience for the content is identified. This may not be the audience you intend. It will be the last audience you shared content with. To change the audience, you must first remove the existing audience. You will notice in this screen image that the red box identifies an X on the right-hand side of the public icon. Evidently, my last post was made available to the general public. Click this X and the public icon goes away. This image shows the stream without a designated circle or audience. You now click to add a circle or circles or to designate individuals you would like to view your content. Selecting this option opens a box revealing multiple options. You can target the members of a circle, those included in any of your circles, or the general public. Extended Circles makes content available to individuals identified in your circle, but also to individuals directly connected to those individuals. This option supposedly offers a strategy for sharing with others you cannot identify, but are linked through a mutual acquaintance. Supposedly the idea is to extend the number of individuals who will have the opportunity to view your content, but not make this content available to everyone. This is kind of an interesting strategy but one that removes a certain amount of control and you will have to make a decision as to whether this strategy makes sense in an educational setting. So to control who have access to the content you create, first check to see if the existing audience must be changed. If a change must be made, delete the icon identifying the previous group and then add the circle or the group you intend to view your content. 